with many specifying the U.S. red states. Hey guys, City Walk, City Wall here, and welcome back to Mars. So after the first six episodes here, I sort of have a good idea of kind of like how the design and the function of this city are going to work and look and what I have to kind of be aware of going forward. For instance, like I know how wide the streets need to be in order to accommodate the conveyor belts and the cable cars and still be able to like see down there. I know how big like the blocks of the lower areas need to be in order to have like a good sized island up above. And I did that purposefully in kind of a part of the city that's off to the side of like what's sort of important because I knew once I had that down it would be much easier to plan out the city like in a smart way where I wasn't gonna you know screw myself over down the line by doing something stupid now and so this episode we're gonna start off here by just taking sort of like a master plan look at the colony as it stands now so I've just loaded up a slightly older save of the game and I have it set here with the cinematic camera so it's nice and wide angle and we can really see a lot inside this dome. We have some services up here on the left that I'm eventually going to replace. It's trash, electricity, some water, some uh, random little things I was working on off to the side that I can delete eventually. And so what I'm thinking is that straight ahead here we have like our giant government sort of building like this is the center of the colony this is where all the decisions are made this is where everything's run from is like a big giant building that this freeway runs straight to right here and fanning out from this building i think it'd be awesome if all the roads kind of led to that I, I think that would be a really cool feature having like a place that's like the focal point of the city like all the cable cars lead there all the conveyor belts uh lead there there's a bunch of helicopter stops all over it and I knew I wanted something like this from the moment I finished the central sorting exchange. It just made sense to have like the biggest thing right beyond it. But the specific idea of how this should look came from one of you guys actually uh, in the comments of one of the earlier videos. And the comment was about how the city looked like Metropolis, which is a movie from the 1920s. If you haven't seen it, you should at the very least Google image search this movie because there's some pretty amazing imagery and I wanted to take some inspiration from that. So the first thing that I did was kind of just start arranging and finding different buildings that I could clip together and create this one really big building. And there was a specific building from Metropolis that I was trying to have this look like. It's the headquarters of the guy who runs the city. And at the top of the building, I wanted to create a helicopter depot. So a lot of helicopters would spawn up here, maybe police helicopters, and also maybe it would have some passenger helicopter stops up there as well. And this proved to be really, really difficult because it's so high up. It's at the top of a skyscraper and you need road access up there in order to have these helicopter stop and police station buildings actually function. And so what I did was I got the general shape of what I wanted to do up at the very top and then turned all those pieces into procedural objects and moved them down to ground level where I could work with them much easier. So once they were down there, I could pretty easily place down pedestrian paths around it and the invisible roads on the inside that I was gonna connect to, you know, once they're moved all the way up there. There's a lot of props that I put down too, some 
doors to get you from inside the building to this helicopter depot, some metal platform pieces that I arranged in a circle with some rails around them. That's where the pedestrian paths, you know, go. And I switched it to nighttime and put a lot of lights up here because I wanted this to kind of look like a beacon at the top. So there's a lot of blue lights aimed up on each of these little rungs of this, uh, whatever this is. It's, I think it's some sort of futuristic garden that I put up there. So once that was done, I could select all of it with the move it model, the props and procedural objects and buildings and things and just move them way up into the air at the top of this skyscraper and all those nodes and segments came with it too so it got a little glitchy for a few seconds there but um, wasn't too bad so inside of there there's like a ring road that connects way down to the conveyor belts and there's also a ring pedestrian path that connects down to the pedestrian pass for that upper level as well. So just working my way down here, the next thing to focus on was sort of this upper level area where like people could walk around. It was part of the, the nice upper half of the city. This area around this really big building is massive and it also happens to be symmetrical in four directions. So I really only had to build this once and copy it four times around the building. I'm really just like struggling with these upper areas, trying to figure out ways to make them look cool. Obviously the starting point is just getting the network surfaces or ploppable surfaces down like the pavement and getting those railway siding pieces around the edge. But then it's like a question of how do, how do I make this look good? What's interesting that can go here? If you have any suggestions or you want to like try something out, any of my patrons who have the save game, so show me some screenshots of different things that you've done because for me, I just like spent forever trying to place down different props, see what would look good. I ended up settling on this kind of cool holographic like cube thing that was sort of floating in midair in the center of this like open area. Has some obviously some grass and some hedges and trees around the side and some doors and more of those parking lot uh, cover pieces over the tops of the doors is sort of like an awning entrance way it does have some lights for like when it's nighttime some kind of specific up lighting like up at this big building and then also a bunch of little lanterns like around the sides of, of the pathways with some benches and then the last thing is i made a custom asset here that's just a very very simple it's just a cube that's stretched in a couple different directions but it's an animating sign that goes around the side of this and I started off by placing down the cosmopolitan sign that's just the classic animating sign that is in this shape but I wanted a custom one with walk industry so I made a tutorial for how to make animated signs if you have any interest it's very easy all things considered you know compared to a helicopter like last episode for instance so I was thinking this is a fun excuse to do another build off competition so right now I, I want to make an announcement that we are doing another build off but this one is for animated assets I want to uh, challenge you guys to make something cool either for your own city or for Mars and submit your asset like screenshots of it and a link to the Steam Workshop in the City Walk City Wall Discord which is linked in the description below but hopefully this is a fun way for you guys to um, learn a new skill set if you haven't yet and make something for for Mars if, if that's something you're into so it should be fun I continued working my way down this building and at this point I'm at the bottom and I decided what should probably happen is I work just a little bit here on the road networks. So I spent probably like literally five minutes just getting some basic shapes of what the road should be like leading out from this building and connecting it up to some of the roads that are already pre-existing. It's all completely temporary just to kind of give me an idea of where I should be placing buildings. And so that's what I did. I just started placing down some buildings like underneath just one little tiny area of this massive building. It's gonna take me a really long time to get all the way around. The coolest thing about this one little area I think is that there's these two stairs that lead up on either side of these conveyor belts and there's kind of like some buildings arranged behind them and underneath is the entrance that actually gets you from the lower level to the upper level. So 
Similarly to that one place in episode five, there's another spot here where citizens can get from the lower level of the city to the upper level of the city on pedestrian paths. And that's just to kind of like allow citizens to go between the levels without them actually having to get in a passenger crate and clog up the road networks. I also put down some pipes here. What I did was I took some very small props and turned them into procedural objects and scaled them way up so they were like absolutely massive pipes that come out of the ground and then go back into the ground. And there's like a really big valve on top. And then I just started working my way around this building a little bit. So I was placing some buildings and some, you know, little props and decals and just working my way around until I got to this kind of big open space. And I took, it took a second to figure out what I was going to do here. I had to subscribe to some assets, load up the game a few different times. I think it was worth it though, this is pretty cool. So I decided this was going to be like a military sort of base, like a forward operating place for some of like the really large vehicles that if you're a police officer and you need to go break up like a riot or something you can literally drive a tank through the city and do whatever you have to do so i started off by just placing a fence around it and some stairs and a walkway that if you were like a police officer you can get straight from that big tall building right to here without having to actually enter the slums and then place down all these tanks and military vehicles, which was really fun. I've actually never gotten to place these down in city skylines. I put a bunch of decals uh, to kind of denote the parking areas. I noticed there was some good empty spaces on the left and the right and filled those up with some guard towers and some little buildings. On top of one of the buildings, I put like a big radio tower and some satellite dishes. I also put a wire. It's this awesome asset that's just a single wire and it functions like an electricity pole or a utility pole, but you can do some cool stuff with it. So I started it at the really big building and had it go across to the stage stairs and then go down in a few different directions to these couple little different buildings around here. And then last thing was just place some little military men with like guns literally aimed at the slums uh, on all these guard towers. So this is uh, maybe a little bit of an oppressive thing that's going on here. After some thought about this building and maybe its role in the city, I wanted to add some something that gave it a little bit more meaning. You know, why is this building the center of the colony? Why is the colony where it is on the surface of Mars? And after a little consultation with some of the very, very smart people on the CityWalk, CityWalk Discord, we kind of came to the conclusion that the city is probably sitting on a really large reservoir of underground ice. And the reason that it's here is because they're drilling down, melting the ice, bringing it up, and, and using that water. And maybe that building isn't where the drilling is actually happening, but I would imagine that building is probably where all the water comes to before it's sort of distributed around the city, or a place where all the pipes meet up and they're able to monitor all the utilities that the city is using, that kind of thing. So what I set out to do was make these two diagonal streets that are headed out from this main building into sort of more important streets by creating some really large pipes. So my strategy for this was just making one segment of pipe and then duplicating that up later on. So I started off by turning some really small pipes into really, really big pipes using procedural objects and adding some valves on one end. It needed to be supported by something, obviously, so I took this freeway pillar and used that underneath on one side, because when we duplicate it up, it's gonna be on both sides. And I was thinking this looked a little, you know, boring, 
So I decided to place some of these uh, pipes that come with the Bad Idea Industrial Pipeline Network. I took this whole thing and duplicated it up just so I had two and could figure out how far they were apart and used another set of those um, electrical wires to span between each segment. Then once I was done, I went and deleted that second one so I could keep working. And then I took this industrial building that I have and turned it into PO and made it really small. I mean, compared to its original size, it's still pretty big. And really went to town covering this thing up with a bunch of little tiny lights on each of these little rungs so that the whole thing kind of glowed red. And I put a couple more lights on these little holes that it has at the top. And I used this really cool, it's actually a vanilla prop that's just like an invisible thing and it spews out smoke, I'm pretty sure. It's used in like vanilla industrial buildings, like at the top of, you know, smokestacks. And I think I put a couple more lights here and there in it, and then I just started copying this over and over and to make a to make a really big long line of them. And at the end that's closest to the big building, I used another pair of those kind of pipes that go into the ground. And so I have this going down and, and it goes into the ground like right as it reaches that building. And around that I put some fences, some ivy growing up the pipes, uh, some grasses and, and bushes and things on the ground inside the fence. And then around it, I just started detailing up this like slum area a little bit more. Just put some, you know, buildings, uh, market stalls, decals, little men and, and women at the market stalls, all that sort of stuff that I've been doing constantly in all these episodes. But I did find a really cool thing to do with these props that I hadn't yet figured out before, which was creating some sort of like outdoor bar or restaurant or something where there's like a counter and there's like bartenders or something behind the counter and there's a bunch of stools that you can, you know, come up to the bar and sit at. But this is like right on the street basically. So I'm imagining this is a little bit like in Blade Runner when Harrison Ford goes to the, the ramen or noodle restaurant that's like right there on the, in the street or like very, you know, open to the street. And this got me thinking about Blade Runner. I was like Googling it. I was looking through some of the pictures from that movie. And I found this really cool one that got me thinking about this particular prop that I have that I've never used before. It's like these blinking horizontal neon lights. And so I started just kind of like creating another one of these sort of outdoor bar restaurant things with these blinking lights that were kind of on this um, angled metal awning. And I put a few more of those capsule apartments because they have those awesome glowing windows. And so I was thinking those maybe are like, you know, maybe a window into like the back kitchen where you would pass the food or the whatever, you know, beverages uh, from one side to another. And so I copied this whole thing into the city underneath these pipes. And I just went to town detailing this whole thing. I placed some buildings, uh, some more buildings underneath these pipes and around and put a lot of billboards, like neon signs and things, some uh, stuff crossing over the street and some signs on that. I have a cable car line that comes from that sort of central cable car hub and it goes into this block that I placed down all those buildings earlier on and pops out over here. So I did a little bit of work kind of making that exit from inside of the block a little bit prettier. There's a, there's a station in there, so there's a cable car stop here. And I put some graffiti and some really big signs up towards the top of these buildings, which I think adds to this. But once there's kind of upper areas above this, um, we'll, we'll be able to do some more cool stuff a little bit higher up. So that's it for this episode. Again, if you want to participate in this asset build off the link to my discord server is in the description below that's where you can find information on it and that's where we'll do submissions we also have sort of an ongoing thing there if you are any good at like photoshop and you want to make some signs or billboards or graffiti or anything like that for this city that's fun too because i've just been turning those into really simple assets for the game and those will be on the workshop eventually as well too and like I mentioned earlier on, if you want to open up this city and play around in it, the save game is available right now on Patreon. So the link for that is also in the description. 
Next episode, we're going to be working on an absolutely massive project. It took me like literally a week and a half, two weeks to build this thing. So look forward to that, and I'll see you all next time on Mars. <laughs>